Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel Crochet Arena. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet plant hanger. And following this same method you can also make it bigger and smaller in size just by repeating a few more rounds. So before going into the tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this tutorial with your friends and family. This is another piece that I made following the same instructions just I repeated a few more rounds so it became a bit bigger. So let's get into the tutorial. Today I will be using 700 grams of rope yarn, a stitch marker and a crochet hook of 8 millimeters. At first you need to make a magic ring. Those who face problem with making a magic ring you can make two chains and work through the first chain. Now I have pulled up a loop and I am making a stitch. A chain stitch or slip stitch you can say but this is not going to be counted as any stitch. Now I am going to make eight single crochets through the magic ring. After making the 8 single crochets, now close the magic ring. Now I will make 2 single crochets on the first single crochet. And I will mark the first single crochet of this round. We will be working on continuous rounds, so marking the first stage of every round is very important. In this round, I will be making two single crochets in each of the stitches. So after the second round, I am going to start round 3. At first remove the stitch marker and make 3 single crochets on the marked stitch. And now mark this second stitch. On the following rounds, I will always make three single crochets on this marked stitch and mark the second stitch. Now make two single crochets on the next stitch. Make one single crochet on the next stitch. Make two single crochets on the next stitch. So in this round, I am making an increase after every one single stitch. Now round 3 is over. For round 4, I am removing the stitch marker and making 3 single crochets on the marked stitch. Now mark the second stitch on which I will make three single crochets on the next round. Now make two single crochets on the next stitch. Make one single crochet on the next stitch. One single crochet on the next stitch. two single crochets on the next stitch. So in this round, I'm making an increase after every single two stitches.
round 4 is over. Now I am starting round 5. Remove the stitch marker. Now make 3 single crochets on the marked stitch. Mark the second stitch. Now make two single crochets on the next stitch. One single crochet on the next stitch. One single crochet on the next stitch. One single crochet on the next stitch. And two single crochets on the next stitch. So in this round, I will be making an increase after every three single crochets. Now I'm going to make round 6 to 12. Throughout these rounds, I will make 3 single crochets on the marked stitch and 1 single crochet on every single stitch. So I'm making the first 3 single crochets on the marked stitch. Now I am marking the second stitch. Now I will make one single crochet on each of the stitches throughout this round. If your pot size is bigger, you can also repeat the rounds a few more times and make it bigger. So in, uh, repeat the rounds according to the size of your pot. Also if you want to uh, increase uh, this pot holder in width, or uh, you can uh, increase uh, you, you can continue making the uh, rounds of the increase up to six to seven number round whereas i made up to five number round so i am going to at first finish round six to twelve so after making up to round uh, twelve i am making round number thirteen see if your pot size is bigger you can also repeat up to 14, 15 and 16 number rounds following this same method. So for round number 13, remove the stitch marker and make 3 single crochets on the marked stitch and mark the second stitch. Now make 16 single crochets starting from the next stitch make 16 single crochets after making 16 single crochets i'm going to make one invisible decrease if you follow any problem with making an invisible decrease you can also make one SC2 together stitch. So for the invisible decrease, I inserted the hook through the front loops of the next two stitches, pulled up a loop, and made a single crochet. If you follow any problem, then you can also make one uh, single crochet, two together stitch. Okay, now I am making 26 single crochets.
after making 26 single crochets I'm going to make another invisible decrease if you face any problem with making an invisible decrease simply make two single crochets together so after making the invisible decrease I will continue making one single crochet on rest of the stitches So now I am making round number 14. To start round number 14, I am making 8 chains. After making 8 chains, I will make 16 single crochets starting from the next stitch after the marked stitch. I am making 16 single crochets starting from the next stitch to the marked stitch. Now again I am making one invisible decrease or one SC2 together stitch. Now make 24 single crochets. Now again make another invisible decrease. Now continue making one single crochet on rest of the stitches. Now I will make round number 15. To begin round number 15, make two single crochets through the loop of the eight chains. After making the 12 single crochets, I am going to make 16 half double crochets from the next stitch. So let's make 16 half double crochets starting from the next stitch. After making 16 half double crochets, make 26 slip stitches. So after making the 16 half double crochets, I am going to make 26 slip stitches. Now, after making the 26 slip stitches, I will continue making one half double crochet on rest of the stitches. So now, I will make one slip stitch and then I will cut off the yarn. So now remove the stitch marker
so this is the plant holder I will make a knot here right now to make the knot cut off a long tail of yarn So this is the final look of my plant holder. You can see the measurement on screen. I'm showing you the measurement. A fairly big size pot can be held in this holder. One thing you have to make sure is that never place any pot that is loosely fitted into the plant holder. It can fall off, it can break your pot or it can injure somebody. So always try to fit a pot that is tightly fitted inside the plant holder. this is all for today if you want to watch more tutorials like this on this channel please don't forget to subscribe this channel like uh, like that video and uh, please leave a comment below in the comment box to let me know what kind of tutorials you want to watch on this channel so this is all for today see you in the next tutorial till then take care bye bye